All right, everybody, we are ready to get rolling. Good morning. Welcome to CUSA Federal Credit Union 65th Annual Meeting. This year is a little different, of course. However, we are still delighted to see you here in this online format. I'm Cody Andrini. I'm the Marketing Coordinator here at CUSA, and I will be your host for today's meeting. Um, we're going to go over just a few quick items, and then we're going to get rolling. Um, all of your microphones will be muted for the duration of this meeting. We highly encourage you to use the chat function to respond and ask questions during this presentation. We will take all of your questions during the question and answer time near the end of the meeting. Door prizes, we are doing door prizes. Um, they will be giving at the end of the meeting and you must be present to win. For members joining in with their spouses or other members, please take a moment to tell us in the chat that, so that we can be sure everyone gets a fair chance to win. You can simply place the names of everyone on the call with you, including yourself, in the chat so that we can account for everyone. And since everything is so different this year, we decided door prizes should be different too. Somebody is going to win $100 today. Um, and we still have our annual giveaways as well. This year we have a stainless steel tumbler for you, and you can pick yours up at any of our CUSA Federal Credit Union offices. Now let's move forward and take a look at our agenda. We will have the welcome call meeting to order by Ms. Robbie Severin. We will have reading and approval of minutes from the 2019 meeting also by Ms. Robbie Severin. Volunteer introductions by Robbie Severin. And then the supervisory committee report will be given by Ms. Linnell Rowan. The nominating committee will be presented by Ms. Jackie Crouch. We will have our financial report by Brian Palmer. And then the CEO's report, staff introductions, and we're gonna talk about some new things with Ms. Gina Rodovich, our CEO. Finally, we'll do some new and unfinished business. And then after that new and unfinished business, we are doing door prizes. And someone is gonna win that hundred dollars, woo hoo! And uh, then we'll have the adjournment by Ms. Robbie and we'll be done. Good morning. My name is Robbie Severin. I'm the chairman for CUSA Federal Credit Union and I'd like to thank you for joining us remotely for our 2020 annual meeting. And now we, we will read and approve the board minutes from our 2019 board meeting. I, Kristen Severin, would like to dispense with the reading of the minutes. Okay, we will accept this as a yes to dispense with the reading. If anyone opposes, please do so in the chat. Since there are no opposals, the minutes will stand as approved. At this time, I would like to announce our Board of Directors. Alan Nikan, Vice Chairman. Brian Palmer, Treasurer. Jackie Crouch, Secretary. Kim Twiggs, Wayne Jordan, Karen Guidry, and myself, Robbie Severin, Chairperson. I also would like to introduce the Supervisory Committee, Linnell Rowan, Chairperson, Alex Massell, Juan Lopez, Jennifer Hines, and Dan Cotelyu. I want to give a special thank you to the Board and the Supervisory Committee for the donation of their time and leadership. Thank you. Hello, my name is Linnell Rowan and I represent the Supervisory Committee of CUSA Federal Credit Union. The, the Supervisory Committee acts as overseers for the credit union. Activities is determined by all board members. We perform such duties as cash audits, bank reconciliations, and insider reviews, just to name a few. We have the 
responsibility of ensuring that the credit union is prudently managed and members' assets are safeguarded. We continue to invest in high-level information, security assessments, and testing to ensure your information is secure. We continue to meet industry standards and strive to exceed those standards. That is our commitment to you. This year, the CUSA family has added 169 new members and provided 429 loans, totaling over $7.2 million. Isn't that awesome? The Supervisory Committee audit for 2019 was completed, and we have the final report with insignificant findings. The NCUA will perform the next annual exam in December of 2020. So on behalf of the other members of the Supervisory Committee, we are honored to serve the members of CUSA and remain committed to ensuring the credit union continues to operate and practice sound policies and procedures. So if anyone has any questions or concerns for us, please feel free to reach out to the credit union so that they can get in contact with one of the uh, supervisory committee members. Thank you and we look forward to continuing to serve you. Hello, I'm Jackie Crouch, and I represent the nominating committee for CUSA Federal Credit Union. This year, the committee has nominated the following current board positions that are up for a two-year renew. They are Jacqueline Crouch, Secretary, Karen Guidry, Member, Wayne Jardin, Member, Kim Twiggs, Member. They are were no petitions received by the membership to challenge these renews and they are therefore re-elected by acclamation. It's my pleasure to serve on the nominating committee and to serve the membership of CUSA. If you have any questions, please contact me through the credit union. Thank you. My name is Brian Palmer, and I currently serve CUSA Federal Credit Union as board member in the capacity of treasurer. I'll be presenting the financial report later in today's meeting and look forward to speaking with you. Thank you. Today's financial report will consist of review of the credit union's financial statements for the year ending December 31st, 2019. We ask that you please use the annual report and follow along with us. On the left-hand side, you'll see the Statement of Financial Condition, or Balance Sheet. The major category at the top is called Assets. Underneath, you'll see a subcategory labeled Cash Assets. This is made up of cash on hand and cash invested in other vehicles. This is managed and monitored closely in order to maintain adequate liquidity to meet loan demand. The next subcategory is loans to members. You can see the different categories of loans, the largest being mortgage loans. The all other assets category is made up of the office building in Lafayette and other assets that are owned by the credit union. The next major category is liabilities. These liabilities or shares or deposits consist of money that you, the members, have deposited with the credit union in vehicles such as savings accounts, checking accounts, and CDs. At the bottom, you'll see a third major category called equity. This equity category represents the ownership or equity of the credit union as an institution. Our current net worth ratio is 12%, which is well in excess of the minimum set by the NCUA and CUSA is currently considered to be a very well-capitalized credit union. Moving over to the right-hand side of the annual report, you'll see the income statement. This statement is simply a representation of the income or revenues that come into the credit union minus the operating expenses. You'll see at the top, our primary source of income is from interest on loans. Under operating expenses, you'll see two different subcategories, the first being dividend expense. This represents the interest that was paid back 
to the members on deposits. Next is general and administrative. This category is made up of all the different expenses required to maintain staff, office space, and all the different professional services and miscellaneous expenses needed to run a financial institution. At the bottom, you'll see our net income for year ending 2019 was $100,296. In accounting terms, this money gets moved back over to the balance sheet and is added to the equity of the credit union. Further strengthening the credit union and better capitalizing us for the future. That concludes today's review of the financial statements. Please contact the credit union if you have any questions and we'll be happy to help. Thank you for your time. Hi everyone, and thanks for joining us today. We're sad we can't be together as we normally would, but are glad through technology we can still present CUSA's 2019 progress to you today. Last year we introduced new exciting card reward programs that pay you back for your loyalty. The CASASA program for debit, and you choose for credit, has paid back hundreds of dollars to your pocket if you haven't looked at these programs, you're missing out. I strongly encourage you to check these programs out and reach out to us with any questions. We're always here and happy to help. Also this past year, we made the decision to expand our Covington location outside of the Chevron building to this beautiful office space nearby. Our new headquarters not only give us much needed space to grow, but gives our members an alternative with expanded hours. If you haven't been able to see the new office, come on in and take a look. Now let me introduce to you our CUSA staff. Out of our Covington locations, myself, Gina Rodovich, CEO, 13 years of service, Kamiko Duncan, Director of Lending and Compliance Officer, six years of service, Edna Moore, Accounting and IRA Coordinator, three years of service, and our newest employees, Vicki Wilson, Director of Operations, and Gabriella Marchand, Member Service Representative. Out of our Lafayette location, Donna Bodwin, Branch Manager and Member Solutions Officer, 28 years of service. Kathy Siadus, Lending Officer, five years of service. Cody Andrini, Marketing Coordinator and IT Support, three years of service. Now let's take a look at our growth charts. In 2019, financial institutions continued to experience liquidity shortages, and CUSA was not immune to this. New non-conventional investment competitors, along with high confidence in the stock markets, really presented a challenge to keep deposits coming in to cover loan demand. Our asset growth shown here remained pretty stable. As a result of this, we had to reach out for non-member investments from other credit unions to provide much needed deposits and liquidity. We also shifted our marketing efforts to attract deposits as much as possible by getting the awareness out of our already great rates. As you can see here on our share, deposit growth, we saw only a small increase again this past year, about 350,000. In an effort to focus on deposits, we felt it necessary to slow down loan growth. As you can see here on the loan growth chart, we saw a reduction in loans of about 530,000. We continued to do loans, we just didn't promote them. This gave us the time to really focus on deposit growth so we could continue to support loan demand. So far for 2020, both deposits and loans have started to grow again. The COVID-19 crisis has given us opportunities to attract deposits here as the market is, is pretty unstable right now. So that's helped us out a lot and we definitely have seen a huge turnaround in the growth in all three areas in assets, shares, and loans. And that's great news. All right, now we're going to take a quick look at our brand new location here in Covington. Uh, it's located on Louis Prima, right behind Copeland's. As we enter in the front door, we're going to see the lobby waiting area right here, designed by our own Kamiko Duncan, who did a fabulous job. And then as we turn, 
we're going to see the waiting area where the MSR will be waiting to serve you. And this is the area that you're going to see most whenever you come into this office. But we do want to take a tour of the back line with you. And first up, this first office you see right here belongs to Miss Vicki. And then moving on down the hall to your right, you see our printer and our envelope stamper and all that good stuff. On the left, you see the kitchen. And then moving down the hall a little bit more, you're going to see a spare office that we have. And then this next room is our brand new conference room. And now we're going to take a spin real quick and see Ms. Kamiko's office. And then finally, the office of our CEO, Ms. Gina Radovich. Again, we just want to welcome you. If you have not seen the new office in person, please come by and see it. We want to see you here. Also, in 2020, we welcomed a new director of operations. Vicki Wilson, director of operations, has over 25 years of experience in the credit union industry. She has worked in different areas of the credit union, including administration, marketing, human resources, and operations. She has served on the Board of Children's Hospital Guild of New Orleans and has achieved certifications in financial counseling, compliance, and human resources. Her strengths are in operations and management as she continues to expand her knowledge in the credit union industry. She uses her skills to perform her routine, not only as an individual, but to promote a healthy teammate atmosphere within the company. Now, since there is no unfinished business from 2019, we want to take a moment and open the floor for any questions uh, for our CEO or chairperson. Um, you can ask any questions that you have by using the chat, and we'll just give you uh, just a moment or so. And then if there's no questions, we're going to go ahead and move on. All right, now it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Someone's about to win $100. Today's winners will receive their prizes via deposit to their CUSA savings account. We ask that you allow 24 hours to see this deposit. Um, so we have been watching throughout the meeting and I've seen the chats where um, a couple of you have mentioned the extras that were with you. We have you guys all accounted for. And so the first prizes that we're going to announce are gonna be $10 winners. And then the final prize that we're going to announce is going to be our lucky $100 winner. And what may happen, because some of us have, um, you know, our names for our Zoom aren't names that we recognize. So I may ask you to unmute and give me your name so that way we can make sure that you get your prize money. So here we go. The very first winner was TLDK. So I'm going to come in here. And I'm gonna ask you to unmute TLDK and give us your name so that we can make sure you got it. Hi, this is Tia in Covington. <laughs> Tia, all right, we got you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next up, we have Christy Johnson as a $10 winner. The next one is Arlene Bournes. And then we have, as a $10 winner, Mr. Al Malello. And then I have J-U-L-L. -L. So same thing, I'm going to ask you to unmute and let us know who you are. I'm sorry? Juan Lopez. It's Juan Lopez. Awesome. Thank you so much. All 
All right, next winner, it just says Renamin. So I'm gonna ask you to unmute. Hi, this is Beth. Beth, all right, thank you so much and congratulations. Next $10 winner is Gwen Bourgeois. Then we have Ella Tabora. And then I have Tara. Tara, I'm gonna ask you to unmute so you can identify your name, please. Hey, this is Tara Willis. Uh, it's Tara Willis, okay, great deal. Thank you so much. And then the last $10 winner we have is Miss Robbie Severin. And then the $100 winner is going to be Mr. John Hudson. You are the lucky $100 winner today. And as I said, y'all, please allow 24 hours to see this deposit. And, uh, and it'll be in your savings account. You can do whatever with it that you wish. Um, and you should see that later on today. So we are going to have Ms. Robbie adjourn us in just a second, and then we're gonna be done for today. Thank you all for joining. Thank you for attending Coosa Federal Credit Union's 65th annual meeting. Meeting is now adjourned. All righty, guys, you all have a great day. Thank you so much for participating, and we hope to see you guys real soon.